Okay, guys, this is the one and only time we're gonna see Evan blow some sick clouds. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. In a perfect world, owning six cars is dope. Actually, it's it's still dope. But in a real life situation where you don't have a team to put your stuff together for you. Sometimes you just gotta spend an entire day figuring out what in the world is wrong with half of them. So the cars have several problems right now, and I'm very sorry. Um, it's very not aesthetically appealing, but we're moving very soon. So my garage is going to be a, a hot mess, a steaming pile of dunk. The Evo is having some motor-ish, I wouldn't say like issues, might be something small. Could be a rod saying hello through the side of the motor. So the other day when Gingium was in town, we went to a meet called Cars and Comets. And on the way to that meet, I raced my buddy in his Mustang again. Cause you know, we gotta show him how the four cylinders do. good I was going so fast and in fourth gear something weird happened <laughs> um, the car drives really weird now and it has this crazy funny idle <laughs> uh -oh. so I'm hoping that my Evo's motor is not effed I just do not have time right now to rebuild an Evo that's actually like Less than 20. Please be good. Um, damn it, which one was it? Better compression than before? Dog. That's, that's 131. Insane. I think the first time I did this, I don't know if I actually like held it long enough for it to fully compress, but uh, yeah, that's my compression on a 140,000 mile motor. While that is really awesome and encouraging that the 4B is doing so well, I mean seriously, people should start swapping these in the 240s. If this thing's pushing this much power with zero issues, 30 pounds of boost, like there's not a day in this car's life after it's been tuned that it has not hit the top of fourth gear at full boost. Impressive, but it is also kind of concerning that I didn't find my answer here I'm gonna try and test for leaks or something, but I'm hoping I kind of find the answer Look at that booty You can't look at this car and tell me this is not your favorite Evo 10 <laughs> Ah Random thought. I love these GMRs, but I kind of want to trade them for like T37s. Some like really, really deep work wheels or SSRs or something. Just to change it up. But these are worth a lot more than any of those, so I don't know. Now that the car's warm, I'm gonna do a little bit of a pull. We'll see how it works. I now feel very confident that it's definitely a boost leak. Yep. Yep. Oh! 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 Alright, so I'm gonna call Victoria. I have a solution to this um, boost leak situation. You guys might think this is funny. Hey! Hey, um, you're gonna laugh at this but this is something I'm gonna need to test. I have a bad boost leak on the Evo. Yeah. I've gotta go buy a vape. And I'm gonna have to blow smokes into a, into a vacuum source. And, and whenever I blow it into the vacuum, it's gonna shoot out where my boost leak is. Oh, hey. I just don't wanna show up with me vaping in the garage. Okay. You just figure out something. I'm gonna okay. come, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come watch. Back and do it, I see. Okay, sounds good. What do I buy, dude? I've never vaped. Actually, that's. Oh my god. Here we 
go. I need a like an e-cig or a vape that blows a lot of smoke. You, you're looking for some clouds, huh? Yes. The highest uh, voltage. How's it going? Okay, so I am. Um, I need a vape that shoots enough clouds because I'm trying to. Okay. Blow it into the intake manifold so smoke comes out of the part that's leaking. Okay. So I just called in the vape plug. I don't know who he is. He's about to blow into my motor. I don't know anything about him. But let's see. Got my tools here. I gotta take one of these freaking clamps off. That might work. So I guess I'll start the car and then uh, just give it your biggest, biggest huff. Throw it in there. Do another one. I don't see it anywhere. I don't either. Ah. I appreciate you coming up here and uh, giving a shot. Have a good one, dude. I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna buy a vape, like just a cheap one, and um, I'm gonna actually like tape it into that vacuum and just have it constantly be su sucking on the vape. Okay, made it home. It smells. <sighs> Is this buttery popcorn butterflies? Mmm. Oh, it smells so good. It smells great. All right, hit it for us. <laughs> it's definitely, okay, so that's definitely good. Um, that should create enough of a vacuum. This is my little contraption right here, dude. Look at that, look at that sick freaking thing. Okay, um. Like sucks it in. No, I don't see anything. But like after a second, there's a light on that. It yeah. like went out. It It'll flashed be... and then it went out. Okay. So th is, that's probably the cutoff. It probably cuts it off. I didn't see anything though. Dang it, man. Where is this leak coming from? Okay guys, this is the one and only time you're gonna see Evan blow some sick clouds. Just got a little puff of vape and said no. <laughs> it's not a Subaru. It doesn't want I'm that. I'm really tired of vapings. <laughs> Need some water. Or some acid would be nice. I guess I'm gonna just go ahead and retighten everything, just in case. It doesn't seem to be idling awkwardly. Like I have a solid 14.7, 14.8, just like chilling here. So <sighs> let's get a shot.
It's now 1045 at night. I have uh, taken a little bit of a break to play some games to get my head out of it. I've been playing Apex a lot and it's super fun, but I fixed it. It was not a boost leak and the vape test told me so, so it does work. I did fix it using a vape, but it uh, actually didn't like, it told me I didn't have a boost leak. So basically I'm dumb and did I overlooked my fuel pressure regulator, the vacuum line went into the, it, it came off the manifold somehow. So anyways, back to the, uh, what I filmed earlier as an outro. Remember guys, vape responsibly and vape for a cause. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys don't know, I give you guys, every day I give you guys advice to try and help you guys live better lives. So uh, one thing, one thing I had written down was it's easy to spot a yellow car when you're always thinking about a yellow car. It's easy to spot an opportunity when you're always thinking about an opportunity. It's easy to spot reasons to be mad when you're always thinking of reasons to be mad. You become constantly what you think about. So if you have a bad attitude, you're gonna find everything wrong with life. You have a good attitude and you're always looking to, to advance yourself and better yourself, well you're going to because you're, you're, you're seeking out that opportunity hard. So you are what you think about, you are what you surround yourself with. So I want to encourage you guys with that today. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hey, so I got two videos right in front of you, but uh, you, you, I, I, I give you two videos. I got two videos for you guys. They're really good videos. You should uh, probably watch them because they're actually really good. Don't go to another channel. Just watch them, right? Watch them. Watch them, baby.